Hey everyone, and thanks for joining us for this talk on point of care ultrasound, specifically its future in medical education. My name is Chris, I'm a third year medical student at Western, and I'm helping to give this talk on behalf of the point of care ultrasound interest group at the medical school. So what we're hoping to cover with all this is firstly, what is point of care ultrasound, and then we'll talk about a potential role for POCUS in medical education, and then mix in some of the experiences we've had locally at Western with POCUS and medical students. So what is point of care ultrasound? Point of care ultrasound refers to ultrasonography performed by the physician in real time at the bedside. Images are obtained immediately and dynamically, and this permits direct correlation with a patient's presenting signs and symptoms. In addition, POCUS can be quickly repeated if a patient's condition changes. Owing to some comparable qualities to the physical exam, some authors go as far as referring to POCUS as a visual stethoscope, and in some ways, point of care ultrasound can be thought of as a modern extension of the physical exam as we know it today. And I think as our friend Dr. Nick here knows all too well, we have to remember with POCUS, as with any physical exam skill, a certain level of caution and appreciation of the variation and quality and skill among different users at different levels of training is critical to keep things safe for everyone involved. As a medical student who hasn't really been exposed to ultrasound or point of care ultrasound, you might be asking yourself these two questions. Firstly, do I want to do this? And, and then can I do this? And I can't answer that question for you, but what I can say is through our experience at Western with the interest group, when students do have the opportunity to attend a hands-on event with point of care ultrasound, they are resoundingly answering yes to both of these questions. And as a medical student, once you answer yes to both of those questions, I think a good place to start with point of care ultrasound is learning about the basics. And if you refer to the Western Sono website, we've put together what we think is a pretty solid tutorial on the fundamentals of point of care ultrasound. So I'm referring to things like the physics, nobology, instrumentation. I know you guys are all on the edge of your seat when I talk about those kinds of things, but in all seriousness, this tutorial really does present the information what we think is an interactive and as fun a way as possible and perhaps a better way to present the material than in the lecture hall. So before getting into point of care ultrasound in, med in medical education, I'd like to think back to a little bit over a year ago when I was working a shift in the ER as a second year medical student, I noticed an ER doc wheeling a portable ultrasound machine to patient's bedside. I was curious, so I introduced myself and asked if I could observe whatever was about to take place. At this stage of my training, I hadn't seen ultrasound used on a patient and had only learned about it in passing in the odd lecture here and there. So I didn't really know what to expect, and as it turns out, I had great front row seats to what was a deep bedside lesson in anatomy, pathophysiology, and clinical medicine that's really left a lasting impact. And at this point, I realized that there's a pretty tremendous untapped potential for the use of point of care ultrasound in medical education. I touched base with a few other students, and we decided to start the point of care ultrasound interest group. And now, here we are, several months later, talking about the topic of point of care ultrasound in medical education. And this brings up the first important point from the Western experience and is really something that has been critical to the success of the interest group and other initiatives that have come up over the course of the year. As a medical student, it's important to connect with those students and faculty who also have an interest in the topic. And at Western, we were fortunate to be able to make connections with faculty in a number of academic departments and divisions who have allowed us to host hands-on events, have access to machines, and those kinds of things. And now getting into a potential role for POCUS in medical education. And starting with the Canadian context, with respect to POCUS training, it's really limited just to the resident level and above. There are some groups across the country working to try to find ways to sneak POCUS into medical school curriculums. And for example, at my home institution here at Western, First and second year medical students were exposed to POCUS in the anatomy lab for the first time this past year. But we have to look south of the border to see some of the full potential of point of care ultrasound and medical education realized. And if you look on the slide here on the left side, the ultrasound podcast, and on the right side, Sonospot, these are both online resources that are available for free. and both have some great discussions on some experiences south of the border 
with POCUS and medical education. As it turns out, their experiences aren't all that different from what we've had with the POCUS interest group and the informal educational events we've hosted over the course of the year, in that medical students are enthusiastic and passionate about this learning modality. And when we talk to faculty who've supported the group, they've noticed that med students are quickly picking up on things, not only with respect to ultrasound knowledge and skills, but also things like anatomy and physiology. It's important to acknowledge that there is some skepticism out there surrounding POCUS and its role in medical education. And I think here a healthy level of skepticism and scrutiny is a good thing. With limited classroom time and a variety of technologies and progress in medicine to represent, tough decisions regarding curricular content are being made on a regular basis. So let's talk about some of the practical advantages of point-of-care ultrasound. One thing we are all familiar with is that ultrasound is a safe imaging modality that does not deliver any ionizing radiation to patients. And we've known this for a while now, so why are we really only talking about point-of-care ultrasound in medical education today? This likely has to do with the miniaturization of ultrasound technology, which is becoming increasingly portable. And with increasing competition in the market, these devices are also becoming increasingly affordable. So in the near future, it may be feasible to include pocket-sized ultrasound machines along with the stethoscopes and reflex hammers that medical students today are accustomed to purchasing. And I think that one of the biggest advantages of point-of-care ultrasound is that ultrasound images may be easily recorded and archived, which permits review of findings by educators. And this allows a higher level of oversight and accountability compared to the physical exam. I think this is a tremendous learning opportunity for students. And now getting into some of the emerging evidence, which has shown ultrasound is an effective teaching tool for learners at all stages of training. And our experience with the interest group would agree with the literature in this case. We're also seeing that patients are satisfied with the healthcare experience when point of care ultrasound is involved. And this might have something to do with POCUS being a technology that brings the physician back to the bedside. And this is in a time, this is in a time when many technological advances are bringing the physician away from the patient, say to a computer screen or a smartphone. So it's nice to see that we have a patient centered technological advancement with point of care ultrasound. And finally, there is a growing body of literature demonstrating that point of care ultrasound has pretty impressive diagnostic capability in comparison to many physical exam and imaging techniques that are considered the standard of care today. I'd like to point out a great review article from the New England Journal of Medicine published in 2011. This article provides a nice overview of point of care ultrasound and emerging applications. As it turns out, there are a huge number of medical and surgical specialties represented. Now back to the Western experience. After we formed the interest group, we aimed to begin promoting it to other students early in the academic year. We wanted to reach out to first year medical students at a time when they were entering medical school. This is when students usually are most eager to experience new things. I think we were able to connect to a wide network of students in part because we started early in our promotion, but also because we reached out to and collaborated with several other well-established interest groups with good student followings. For example, the Emergency Medicine Interest Group and the Medical Skills Club. We also reached out to students by means outside of the formal medical student club system, the Western Sona website, YouTube, and social media tools allowed us more flexibility in promoting and recapping events. Together, these approaches helped get the message out to over 100 first and second year medical students who have joined the interest group in its inaugural year. But having said all this, I think the main contributor that has excited students to join the interest group has been our ability to host hands-on and interactive events. You can see some of the events we've been able to host here on the screen. And this is largely in thanks to, to dedicated faculty and residents that have supported us over the course of the year. These events have allowed students to interact with physicians and residents in a way they normally don't get to do very often. And the learning environment also had a low learner to instructor ratio. 
Now let's talk about the Western experience on opening up the discussion on bringing POCUS into the medical school curriculum. I think this has truly been a bottom-up approach, and by that I mean these efforts have been student-driven. We couldn't have gotten to where we are today without the support we've received from faculty, but students are the ones leading the educational charge here. And why are so many of us passionate about point-of-care ultrasound? I think it has to do with POCUS being a modality that safely removes the sometimes frustrating, yet often necessary, barrier between knowledge and experience that is all too familiar during our training. In other words, it allows students an opportunity to apply knowledge they have already learned in a way that is safe for everyone. It's also worth emphasizing that POCUS naturally promotes learning just in time, aka learning in the moment, rather than the learning just in case that dominates the pre clerkship years of medical school training. I think this has to do with the learning environment being fun and, and making a lasting impact on the memory of students. One of the most important points to realize is that ultrasound enriches rather than competes for classroom or lab experience. As a result, introductory ultrasound training may occur through integration into existing core curricular activities such as anatomy and physiology. And there's also the option to integrate into existing clinical skills courses. So I think the next step for us at Western is to begin to engage the curriculum committees here and find people who want to teach this topic to medical students and see if we can make some progress on the front of bringing POCUS to all medical students at the medical school here. Personally, I'm looking forward to what I think will be a bright future for ultrasound in medical education, and I'd like to leave a final comment to my medical student colleagues, and this is taken directly from the opening sequence of the ultrasound podcast. Get out there. Ultrasound some hearts, some lungs, some IVCs, and let others know how you feel about it. Thanks for listening in.